So, a couple quick tips. If you hold these on your wrist, then you don't have to hold them on your hand. And uh, you can take one of them off at a time. And you put them through here, around. You can leave it there. Now you want to get this one through here. It should be closer. We're going to have to adjust these up. We're going to have to adjust this because it, when we put the other side on, it pulled a little too much. And this is supposed to come through there. So, maybe, this, maybe a little bit will help. Uh, but this is what we've been doing. We're putting those in here and um, wrapping those and you get um, these posts, which we're not gonna tie on yet right now. Um, they just Velcro on here. And maybe we're gonna take these ones off to allow this to slide a little bit more. Because we're gonna, we're gonna get this up and pulling this way. Uh, maybe with a um, thing that helps us go higher, like a ladder. Yeah, one of those things. Um, one of the things I really love about this particular tent that we got is it doesn't require any tools really ever. You just, this thing goes in and pops out the hole. Super great. And these little ties are ingenious. Again, just poke it through. Poke it through this guy. And then right back in. And maybe when we finish this up, it'll actually be fine. And we won't need to move it around. Ah, a couple of tips that, um, this is our fourth one that we've set up. So a couple of tips from the pros. Number one, make sure it's right side out, okay? Uh, you want this piece to be on the inside. And if you come around the outside, oh, you've got this here, come around the outside. This is where the, um, it, it velcros and unvelcros for a window. That's kind of nice. Um, on the front piece, the only way to really tell what's the outside or inside is the zipper. And you can see the outside of the zipper waterproof. The inside looks like that. So just a couple of pro tips there. And we do want this to come down a little bit more. Otherwise, this isn't going to be able to even Velcro. This square Velcros onto this square here. If I pull it up. Yeah, I can get to it. Just want it right on there. A little added support. This guy. Boom. All right. All right, let's finish these. Uh, oh, and so this one, when, it, when we do get this out of the way, this edge Velcros to this edge, right? So, let me put this on. As that comes and wraps around it, somehow. Right? Somehow. But, you know, You know what make this easier? If I had like, Another pair of hands. Why don't we have these pair? I know you're thinking right now, the person watching this is saying, hey, you got another pair of hands. There's someone holding the camera. But she's holding the camera. It's a very important job. And she can't shirk her responsibilities just to come help me. So I gotta work it around and use my muscles. Oh yeah. And then there's a last one, which actually, this, here I'll show you this. Last piece. It goes around all four of those eyelets. And there's a little hook here. And this hook goes in the uh, top hole. And over time, as it stretches out, you can put it in lower holes. Where's the hook? Oh, there you go. Just got it right in there. And, um, and then now I have this, 
I like to go from the inside though, so I'll start. I guess I'll start on one side. And I'll just wrap it in and out. Right through here. Right through there. All one more. The outside this guy. Coming in here. Now that I've got that, little magic happens back here. Yeah, da -da. There we go. And that's that guy. And then we just finish it up. Uh, we still have to tie these guys in. Hey there. Here's what we're going to do. A little, uh, little, I can't stand on it. Okay. A little lesson here. And what we're going to do is we're going to feed this through here. And we're going to tie a knot. But not, not just any knot. We want to make a little overhand guy like that. And then we want to go the other direction. So we're going to do this guy coming around here. That way it makes a square knot. And if you pull a square knot, it should be good. If you pull it one way, it might make like, make it look like, what does that look like? Anyway, it can rotate around itself. It's fine. It's solid. And then what we want to do is come down here and feed what do you see, Brownie? Feed this up. And say right about here, we're gonna pinch it and make a little knot. Just a little overhand knot with these um, doubled up, with this doubled up. And the reason we wanna do that is so it doesn't slide and we can feed this guy through and tension it up. And now that it's tension, I'm just gonna bring it down. Got this really close to the ground, didn't I? Bring it down in here. And in here. And then I'm gonna to pretend to be a sailor and pretend I'm tying my boat off by doing that. And when you do that, you wanna wrap it under uh, itself so that it adds a little extra friction. And then at the very end, maybe just, oh, I don't know if I have enough for it this time. Wrap it a couple times like this and then feed it through. I might, no, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Let's see. Wrap it, can I get it? Can I get it? No. Maybe. Feed it up through here. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. It's coming. It's coming. There it is. Let's see. Let's see. And that finishes it off. Nice and solid. So, just twisting these guys in. If you've got dirt that will accept it, I found it's all right, it works okay. It's just a piece of plastic with a little screwy thing here and a hook. But it's not the only thing that's gonna be holding it on. That'll be a tight touch of guy wire up here, camera. A little guy wire up here, just again, string. And then they give you these little dinky, little tent, Steaks. <laughs> but look, it comes with gloves. Two sets of gloves because they know that you're going to need another person to hold the camera. <laughs> um, and these like little, little tent stakes. So, you know, I figure if you can push it in with your thumb, it's not good. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's not going to hold anything. But the idea is that maybe I get a rock or something, <laughs> some hammer. But um, but if that's in there, and this is pulled down, it removes the vibrations, um, and the wind hits it, and uh, these just basically keep these guys from going left and right. They're not going to keep it from going up. Ideally, these guy wires uh, and these stakes are keeping it from going up and down. Now, after I get these twisted in. And Put all these stakes in. Um, it's supposed to rain for about a good solid week and a half, I think, um, at least, starting tomorrow. So tonight. I want to maybe tonight. <laughs> starting tonight. So I want to make sure that I get some sort of like um, a waterway going around this and down, so that it doesn't go in here. Kind of like we did over here. Because. Listen. 
Well, I hope you have a little better than that one. The guy way. Um, is, do you think the rockery open today? I'd like to get a yard of rock to put in here. It's, what is it, Monday? It's not a holiday, right? I mean, guys, it is technically a holiday. It's like Boxing Day, but this is not Canada. Okay. Oh, I mean, hey, hey, Canada. <laughs> Boxing Day. We just unboxed something. So, there we go.